Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of Rough Talk VR. Coming at you with another App Lab game this week. This time, this one's getting a lot of attention. We're talking about bocce time. Yeah, who would have thunk? You know, it's like walkabout mini golf, you know? Or golf plus in that, that manner. VR is so weird with what, you know, really hits home with people out of nowhere. Like, if you told me before I ever got a headset, like, one of the most popular games on the store is mini golf. I like mini golf, but I, it wouldn't really make sense to me. But then you go in the app, you play it, and it makes a lot of sense. So I've been seeing bocce time, you know, kind of make its way around, and people have been sharing it, talking about it, and it's kind of that initial thing. It's bocce, you know, how much fun can it be? Man, for a simple app lab game? No, what intrigued me was the, the perfect rating. Yeah, I mean, right now. I was like, huh, that's, you know, it's just rare when you find... And, you know, I'll let you take the, the helm there in a second. But when you see the difference of, like, ratings to reviews, it's pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so, again, the game's bocce time. It's made by a developer, Deep Dive Interactive. Uh, it's currently rocking a perfect 5.0 rating on the App Lab Store with 20, 20 total ratings and 14 written reviews, which we always say when we talk about App Lab games, a little disclaimer, they're not, you know, completely visible on the store, so you don't nope. see them you know, pumped out with hundreds of reviews on release or anything like that. No, and this is a relatively new... When did this come out? Uh, June 17th. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, under a month ago. And like I said, right on release, I was seeing it make its rounds on social media. and Yeah, people were that's, what, that's the two ways I caught wind of it. Once in, um, I think, our Discord, it yep. was brought up, and then I had caught wind of it, I think, on Reddit somewhere. And then I was like, I, it's got a perfect... That's what people kept saying. It's It's got a perfect rating. Yep, our uh, our Discord and subreddit member Shoes, who always makes our kind of highlight posts of the amount of times we say 100% and some kind of other, you know, highlight things we say. <laughs> uh, he he pointed out, he's like, hey guys, you got to check this out. Dev's super cool. It's a lot of fun. And like, Bocce's a game that, I mean, I'll be honest, I haven't played it since like elementary school gym class. It was like a unlocked deep memory for me that playing this. I was like, I, I think I remember how to play, but... Let's go in and see what it's about. I think for you, this was the first time you'd ever yeah, played bocce, I, right? We didn't play bocce in school. We we had dangerous shit like those backyard darts and <laughs> stuff you threw in the air that were pointed back then and made of metal. So, you know, you had this rocket of metal coming down. and That might be a little bit more fun than bocce in school. But anyway. Charts, you know. Uh, it yeah, was, no, it was, a, it was an option at recess in school. It's a, a very simple concept game here oh I f before i get too carried away as well it's 8.99 on the app lab store <laughs> i almost skipped that i think i skipped that last week too uh i would have so, paid the extra buck yeah i'll, I'll, I'll i mean geez I'm, I'm so tempted to rate them like a, a 14 or like an 18 on something because like yeah <laughs> i'd no, rather you know just why, pay 9.99 do, do you know why i think more and we've seen this now a handful of times where it's not that 14.99 or Nineteen ninety nine. It's some of I think because they're taking into consideration a little bit of tax. I think possibly. so that you know eight ninety nine will actually come out to relatively ten dollars versus nine ninety nine, which is really going to come out to like twelve dollars. Well, and also, uh, I mean, I would have to do the the conversion math to the euro because I mean, this is a game that's popular in Europe, uh, as is VR gaming in general. The player base is is split pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I wonder if it's a, a much more pretty price in the euro than the the nine dollars even in the Ameri in the american or 9.99 in the u.s dollar yeah either way though it's under 10 bucks which yeah, is, is a steal for this which was even more amazing to be honest with you yeah i mean uh, i agree with you i would have paid the uh the extra dollar and the, the concept of the game is real simple uh you know you can play 1v1 or you can do teams this game supports uh lobbies up to four people but so you have two teams you start, you roll the initial small ball, which is known as the Polino. Mm -hmm. uh, so you roll it down the course, and it has to, to pass an initial mark line that's very obvious. So you, you roll it. Let's say for whatever reason, you roll it, and it doesn't pass the minimum amount, which is you know very easy to do in this game. Then the other people get to go, and they try to roll the Polino. Um, and then after the Polino rolls and it's in its set spot, then both teams kind of take turns rolling their balls to try to get closest to it. And each team has a total of four balls per round. And if I roll, so let's say I roll the Polino, I get it past the line, now it's set. So I go first, I roll my ball, and now that distance from the ball to the Polino is kind of the initial starting point. So now it's, you know, Team B's turn. 
they roll the ball. If they get closer than my ball, it's back to my turn. But if the the ball isn't closer, it, it, it rolls farther away than that, that first ball, then you know they keep rolling until they get closer or they run out of their four, four balls. So you can go back and forth. You can get pretty competitive. This game marks it real easy, so it's like a, a colored radius with who's ever – there's a blue team and a yellow team, so who's ever the closest to the ball, that's the color of the radius. Um, and it's pretty easy to see where to aim for to get in. Of course, you can knock the Polino – once it's already set, you can knock the Plino. You can knock other people's, you know, their scoring balls. So you can start to to have a lot of strategy. It's a very simple game, but, you know, I always love the phrase, simple to learn, you know, hard to master. Yeah, it's exactly what it says in the game description. Yeah, and I think that... Simple to learn, easy to learn, hard to master. I think that applies to a lot of these kind of casual, you know, leisure sport games that seem to work so good in VR. It's like, they're simple, but yeah, there's a lot of strategy. Where you throw that initial Plino, uh, you know, how close you're even going to get your balls to that, to the Plino. I mean, obviously you do want to get it close and get it, you know, sniped, but I've noticed if I do that in my first ball of my four, oh man, we're going to have a an annoying headache round where we just get dirty with each other or knocking each other's balls. Sometimes I actually like to start with like a bigger radius with my first couple balls and then kind of really close it in at the end when I know, all right, now I don't have to worry about you knocking me out or anything like that. Because this is one of those games we always go back and forth with who's winning, who's losing. This is one, man, you kick my ass in. No, you, you, I think you beat me the other night. I don't think I beat you. I came really, really close. Yeah. I, it, in that, oh no yeah, that's right i, I came back from we were like playing to 11 lead. points no yeah. i remember yeah it was 11 to 2 so and the scoring's relatively low like your max score in the game is like four points per round if you're you know an absolute gangster yes they let you set that you know how many total points you play for because you know you you have i get i don't even know what the technical term would be i'll call them sets and then yeah the, we don't know i don't know nothing about bocce other than what yeah. i've played in vr but in each set, yeah, the winner gets either – well, I mean, I guess if the balls are equal distance from each other, it cancels out and, yeah. you know, nobody gets points. It's like a draw. But, yeah, you'll get – if you win the round, you'll get anywhere from one to four points. And what happens is – so I mentioned there's that, like, circle radius. Uh, once you're the winner and, you you know, your ball's the dominant one, all of your other of the four balls that are also in that radius count for a point. So, you know – if you win with one ball in that circle, you get one point. If you get all four, it'll even pop up and say, ooh, you, uh, uh, what's the word? It, it, you swept it. This, you swept yeah, around. Swept around. So it's it's pretty cool. And, man, they give one of those harsh, they're one of those games that like the harsh messages. You lose, it just gives a you fat message suck. across your screen. You lose. You lose. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to be able to tell you what the winning message looks like and not being able to beat you. No, I didn't know, actually. I, I really thought in my, like, I would have lost money on a bet. Because I, I could have sworn you beat me, but whatever. No, I mean, I'm good at. I just it, it, you you dictate the power of how you throw the which they the do. Ball, a, they right? do a great job in this game. Yeah, also. they do. So it's it's weird because you can almost feel imaginary weight in your hand when you're tossing the ball, and there's two different really methods. You can roll it or you can lob it, and come to find out from reading online because of course after playing this now for a while i wanted to now know now you're intrigued I'm like what the hell is bocce you know like what is it how you, far off is it and yeah you find out some ancient ancient ass game thousands of years old it was like 5000 bc yep. they have the modern version of it is kind of like formed in in italy but like the origins of it seem to go back it's an ancient game yeah People were, yeah, using stones and, and stuff. What we'd call an, I'd call it ancestral. It's an ancestral, ancestral game. game. <laughs> so everybody should play it because it's probably in your DNA that yep. somewhere down that line somebody did play. It. No, yep. it's it's pretty incredible when you actually read about the whole. It's it's probably to me like it's got to be one of the oldest games that people play. Yeah, I'm not I'm not an expert in like the history Gameology. of games. Yeah, or I'm anything a like that. But no, it, it's older than I would have thought. But yeah, you were mentioning that there's some strategy to the lob as well. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, rolling it will get your ball where you want it. But lobbing it is really good for knocking the other person's ball out of the way. Because think, we're both rolling four balls. So a kind of a wall starts to form. The, the course of this 
you know, what's cool in this game, they give you other <laughs> courses, which we'll get to, but the default course is like a long, you can almost think of it like a, a bowling alley. Yeah, it's, I guess it's a pretty, line. it's a pretty standard straight line bocce course, you know, a little wide, but it's, it, you know, so you, you, you roll it down. It's, it's pretty simple. Yeah. You know, like a wall of the other balls can start to form. So if the concept of the game is to roll your ball closer to the Polino, you know, once, you know, seven balls have been rolled, you know, maybe all four of, of, you know, your opponents and you're on your last ball, good luck rolling that ball because it's kind of like a, a narrow, long course, like I was saying. Good luck just rolling your ball and getting it close to the Polino. You might have to knock some balls out of the way, and that might mean either knocking one of your already rolled balls, you know, trying to bump into it so it's then, you know, the closest one into the radius. It might just be like, screw that guy. I'm just going to knock his ball completely out of the way knock the Polino out of the way. There's a lot of different ways you can do that, but that's going to be harder to accomplish doing the kind of standard ground roll. So in those cases, when it's time to get aggressive and time to get physical, that's when lobbing is really your best friend. And if you're real gangster, because one of the things I absolutely love about this game, for as simple as the game actually is, is the amount of settings that they've given you for how you want to control things. So it's like, let's say you have a weak shoulder, you just, you know, and throwing a bocce ball even in make believe is going to cause you pain. You yeah, can you increase your your throw percent up to two hundred percent, which makes. I think you pumped it up to what one seventy or something. One fifty. One fifty, and it was just outrageous. Yeah, I threw it like real. Like I'm just going to overhand toss it, and the thing took off all the way to the end, like no problem. So that's when I was like, well, I I, I didn't know if that's kind of like cheating or not. Like you put that thing on two hundred percent, but if you were playing in a chair. Or if, if you're just, you know, your shoulders can't do the rotation. Well, I'll also say I've, I've thrown the ball. Half of my mistakes of rolling mm. where the trajectory is good, I've messed up with too much power just as much as I've messed up with not as much power. Right. So, you know, amping up the power isn't necessarily going to, you know, it's not like no, the goal just, is to get just, far down. No, it's just going to get it all the way it, there. The problem is actually, you know, having the power up that high might actually make it harder to do like the – you know, if somebody just rolls over the play line mm-hmm. and it's not way down at the edge, good luck getting your ball to stop there with 200 power. I can't imagine. I haven't even tried it. You would probably the 150 blew my mind. But what else they drop the ball and pew. what else they give you, which is really cool, is the ability to put spin on the ball. Yep. So it, if you're in a wall situation like that, I'm going to talk like I actually have played bocce like my whole life now already. Right. Because we did a, some, you know, we put in some solid hours in virtual yep. reality now. So we're freaking bocce experts. If you're on that last ball and for whatever reason, you, you ever, for whatever reason, you're greedy and want to get it in there, or if you have to, like yeah. you said, you've got that whole defensive thing, you can put spin on it and yep. loop it around. And it makes the coolest sound when you do it. Yeah. And it's a setting that's off by default. So yep. you go into settings, you look through, you know, like Which you said. Which is good. Yeah, because. Uh, but more real life simulation, turn that bad boy on. Mm-hmm. And it actually doesn't really affect. You, you have to, I mean, you have to put spin on it. Yeah. Hey, one of the biggest things that sticks out about this game is the physics of mm-hmm. it are really, really good. They have to be. Yeah. For a game like this. Absolutely. Do they have to be? There's a couple of, you know. And again, not being a professional bocce player or anything, there's a couple of expectations you'd want when you read the rules. Like, okay, well, it has to work, especially if you're able to apply a spin. Yeah. I mean, but because of that. So hats off to the physics for sure. Yeah, you can really, you know, utilize <laughs> Dude, the wall. The characters. Uh, how have we not gotten into the The avatars are the best avatars you will ever see. I call, I call mine Lego head. I call mine Potato Man. Potato Man. Yeah, the avatar is literally just like, it looks like a giant potato with eyes. Like, imagine like a, if you buy Mr. Potato Man and you take everything off of him. Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> no, I think it looks more like a Lego without like, you know, like the Lego faces. Yeah. But just take the face off and the hats or the wigs or whatever they wear. And, and it's you're just, just that the head. I absolutely, I love it. Although it's our understanding that's. You know, they're working on new avatars, but I'll put in the, the yeah. verbal request, you know, no matter what Default. avatars came, always keep that potato somewhere in the options. It's awesome. I, and the, the graphics are, you know, let's be real. They're nothing that's like, oh, my God. Like, they're nothing like green hell or anything like that mm-hmm. or, uh, you know, real VR fishing. They're more like that walkabout. No, there's, the, there's a total walkabout vibe It's kind going of blocky. 
but it works. Uh, you know, it's not as good of graphics as Walkabout itself because Walkabout has that that artwork style mm-hmm. so tuned in. But it gives that similar feel. It's happy. You go in. You know, it's bright. They put you into this environment with, like we said, four different courses. You have the the default one. There's like a backyard one. I think there's more than four different Six. courses. Yeah. You, they have the long one, the backyard one. Because as I, I went to go start to listen yeah, off, was, I'm like, what the I hell? There's a lot more than like, four. I'm like, what are you talking about, man? Yeah, the long one, there's one that's a backyard, which is cool. There's like a grill. There's a, pretty much everything that's in a lawn. There's there, and those items can come into play. You know, the balls can bounce off of them. It can hide can under it. Under. Yeah, yeah, which is – you seem to do that one a lot. <laughs> they have another one, which is my favorite course, which is – I call it the sectional course, but it's – you know, it's like straight to start, and then it – it loops off to the left and down a little bit more to the the straight. There's some walls and it loops more to the left, or like it loops to the left again. But then it also loops to the right, and it's it's pretty crazy. I was fo- I was rolling the ball really silly in that one. I wasn't rolling it. I was just overhand chucking you were it, and, it. Yeah. Oh yeah. And that's the one that I almost beat you. I was like nine to two against you, and we were playing to eleven, and then you beat me. How mm-hmm. how do I have a seven point lead? It's because we were sweeping each other on that course. Yeah, it's, We're it's weird. The four pointers. I, my favorite's actually the. I love the traditional bocce mm-hmm. course, and I'd be excited to see more different ones, maybe different colored ground and stuff like they do for tennis courts and shit. And then um, the backyard one's my second favorite because that's like, it's totally believable. Like, say, mm-hmm. you know, you're at a backyard and someone's like, anyone want to play bocce? It's like, now I would. I don't know if I would have before playing it in VR. I'd be like, yeah, I'm good, because I didn't know what it really was, you mm-hmm. know? Um, there's other the, courses. The other courses are more mini golfy. Yeah, there's like, a, you know, ones we didn't reference, like a ramp one that uh-huh. it's literally a ramp. Like a skateboard ramp. Yeah, it's got... shoot up, and there's like a circle platform that it lands on. And then there's also like a trash bear, a trash bin one. Mm-hmm. Which, which we, we kept trying to yeah. throw the... The, the start ball, in. yeah. Which you can, tra- yes, you can. Because we got our other balls in there, but like, you that's know. that's such a dirty way to win. You have but to it would get work. The, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. You know, you just have to have really good action on that first throw. With your other balls, you get four tries. You know, obviously those are going to be easier to make it in. But uh, that one was was really cool. So yeah, no, there's endless potential with different courses on this. No, I love the blatant. It's pretty blatant to me, but the blatant homage to walk about. Yeah, for sure. You can tell that there's some love going on there. Well, it works in all the same ways because like the social aspect, I'm going to have to reward them for. Um, and you know what? The in-game mic. It works really good. Works really well. Yeah. And that's one area a lot of times like we'll Especially have a great game, but it's like, yeah, if we're not party chatting and it, it's not going to. And that's no not shitting on the actual game. It's just like, well, that core element didn't get invested in, obviously. But yeah, especially with App Lab games, you know, these small indie, I think it's maybe one or two guys. So it's like this is one that I think if continues to grow and put time into his product will be a store game. Uh, I would put capital potential on this one. Capital P potential. Like, or a must all watch caps, for sure. Like, yeah, because it's like there's a lot of people that would probably love to play it, but just because they don't know what bocce is, how to play it. Or no, would that app lab exists, mm-hmm. you know? It's like, hey, I point. love bocce, but especially like I think like older Italian people and stuff, because even in this town there used to be a bocce club back in the day. You know, I just picture them all like, oh, well, that that'd be cool, but mm-hmm. they can't anymore because they're in a chair or whatever. And well, now you can because you can play this sitting down. You don't have to play it standing up. I play it standing up, but you can play sitting or standing. Yeah, no, it's it's a great game. I I think leagues. I'm enjoying it more. We in, already said there should be leagues, right? There's there's a lot of potential for it. And hey, hop over to this game's Discord. My understanding is that they're trying to set up, you know, uh. In game, or yeah, not in game tournaments, but you know, community tournaments and those type of events too. So, game just dropped, came out over a month ago. Go give them support. Go check out their Discord. A lot of fun going on. I put this as a, um, if you play it once, you'll probably want to play it all the time. Well, and again, more so for the the social aspect of because let's be honest, what does it take to play to eleven? You know, it, you know it takes 10, ten minutes, ten minutes or so. No big deal. You can literally whip out a couple games in fifteen twenty minutes. Have a great time, laugh. Yeah, well, always. I think we the first time, the first couple times we went to go play, uh, we're like, well, let's go do. A I couple. do want to gig them on the. If I smack you, it doesn't make the <laughs> sound. Yeah, yeah or give any animation to but it. But I won't take points games. away for that. No, no. First thing I did though, 
I yeah. saw your big Lego head, and I went over, your potato head, gave it a smack, nothing. No, but it's it's like, dude, so the first couple times we played, I was like, let's go do a couple rounds of bocce, thinking that, you know, we would do a couple rounds, and an hour goes by, hour and a half. It's oh, like, you're just having a blast. Yeah, and that's with this one environment. Wait till they have, you know, more different courses. and It's very competitive. It's a lot more competitive than it sounds on paper. Yeah, I don't want to, hey, I don't want to give the wrong impression. You know, you were beating me. But a lot of these games were very close. You know, we were getting yeah. like. No, I I can, my lines are good. But the power I use to get it there, that's you, where I'm misjudging. Either too hard or too light. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, I, or like if I throw the first ball and then I'm now setting the, the what's it? The, I can't, the Polino. Polino. I, I just think call that's it how the, you. That's how it's spelt. That's really why I don't like saying it because I'm like I don't really know if that's how it's yeah. pronounced. I'm gonna put the full disclaimer. The you know. I didn't grow up playing this game. Like I said, I played it in in gym class and in, in, <laughs> in like a little elementary kid. school. It's one of those words that you read, but you you never heard. So I don't I, know, know why they just don't call it the small ball. Yeah, the small ball. Idiot. That probably is what that translates to, right? I hope it's pronounced <laughs> Polino because there's something about that word that's just so cool to say. I love saying it. Oh, that's funny. I even I forgot where I was even going with it. No, no, it's all good though. No, I got sidetracked with the Polino. Yeah, it's it's pretty distracting. If no. that's in fact what it's called. But you, I think you were saying it's competitive. It's it. Oh, your your power. Yeah. You know, oh yeah, of, yeah, yeah. So I'll throw the Polino, and then I'll, you know, I know how exactly how I threw that. So I'll throw the first ball like that, but because the first ball is substantially bigger, it obviously weighs more, so the physics are different, and then I come up short. But we, you know what I'll get. I, I don't know if we said this earlier. This is one of those games that, because the physics are so tight, the second you're, the ball leaves your hand, you know, um, before it even hits the ground. Dude, I love that though. Yeah, it's like you can. I love it. You don't even have to look at the ball. You're too light, too hard. If if um, you already know. That really adds a sense of the realism to me. Yeah, that the physics it adds to immersion too. The only thing missing is actual weight in your hand you know i mean honestly and even then like my brain sometimes feels it but it's incredible to me well, we got those nice kiwi pro grip controllers so we do have the extra weight in our yeah could also let go and the wrist straps <laughs> gonna keep i mean and yeah screw in theory, that. it's not going anywhere and what i'll say is the because like it's one of those you know you you roll the arm back which you were mentioning to me you get very into like oh, you really um, test your play space with you know getting fully yeah, into it uh, my fiance was less than happy with me <laughs> but uh <laughs> You know, because you're, you're rolling it like that, I don't even remember what I was going to say either. We're all over the place. Jesus Christ. Oh, my goodness. We're losing everything we're lo- today. We're no, excited about bocce. It's, I, that's kind of a little what it is, is there's an overall excitement that we've been having playing it. Yep. And um, I think we're each just going down different different paths of forgetfulness, I guess. Yeah, it happens. But for such a simple game, you know, uh, it shouldn't be so so replayable of a game, but it is. I question that. And it's like, but even, even, even now playing, talking about it, it's like I I wouldn't mind playing it. Yeah, you know? and that's playing with just two people. Like I said, it supports up to four people mm-hmm. and allows you to be a spectator. That's kind of I always like that option yeah, too. I spectated a match last night. So let's say like, oh, I got three people. You know, how, do, you can handicap. You can do two v one, but like think of it like you know any team based skill game like this like team pool it's probably easier to be one guy than two guys mm-hmm. same with bocce because you know when it's just you it's you, you. balls yeah you yeah. know what you're gonna do you know when you're when you're with a partner you're Each at the mercy throw of different them. yeah so, maybe different strategies and, and the strategy of it i enjoy too yeah so you can do handicaps you can do 2v2 you know you can play the bots the bots are freaking awesome yeah isn't it funny how like i highly recommend people play the bots they got a funny name at least one of them does. I know you were you were facing who oh, was it? Body Mc Body McBot face. <laughs> I swear to God, that's the guy's name. But here's what's weird. I'll give him props for this too. I they give you three different difficulty levels, like bronze, silver, gold. So I was like, screw it, I'm I'm playing the hardest bot they got. Mm-hmm. For like thirty seconds, I even though the name said Body McBot face, I was not a hundred percent sold that it was a bot. And do you know why? Well, why is that? Because it was a talking. good, a good damn bot. It, it was, was no, it was too, animated. 
it was making like human like motions. There was some some vocality going on. That's what that's what sets it over for me. What it when I really knew is when it threw twice and it made the same exact sound because yeah. he like threw the threw the ball and was like, Ugh. Mm-hmm. I was like, huh. Then, and then he did it again, and I'm like, is he possibly making? And then I was like, you're an idiot. It's a bot. You know, it's a bot. But well, it just, it seemed for a little second, like... With a name like Body McBotface, I think that there's a chance that that would be somebody trolling. Like, that's how my brain right? would work. And then once I heard, you know, the gestures are Dude one thing. Dude waving at you. You know, other games in VR have done that, and it's really cool. Uh, but once I heard the vocabulary is when I would be like, I'd be in the same boat as it, you. It, it reminded me of, like, in the old days, I'm sure people still do it with their um, phone messages, where you your phone message is you answer the phone. Mm-hmm. Hello? Can, hello can i can i help you and you know that there's a human being talking on the other end not mm-hmm. really all right well at the beep leave a message you know it's like that was a thing back in the yeah kids used to do that as well right. and i remember what i was saying before too i was going to give a warning that since it's you know you one of those games where you swing your arm back and then you go forward time your release because if you release the ball with your arm back the ball is just gonna, <laughs> gonna plump, up, plump on the ground you gave up your turn too yep. by the way yep that's a waste and that's no a, sympathy no there's no do-overs there's no like you know we've been playing a, a tennis game which we'll review soon but they give you second serve if you mess up once and nope none of that second nope. serve that was your serve <laughs> yeah you drop that ball no no mercy so if it happens to you I mean, I know you have controller issues, so definitely it happened to you a couple times because of your controller. Because of this game, though? Because I was having such an... And the, the issue isn't game-related. It's just when I move my controller around, I guess the battery might jiggle a little. I don't know. Which would make sense for a game like this. Where yeah. You, it happens all the time in Pop 1, and you'll hear it because I beat the shit out of my controller on my leg to try to... Well, I can see when it was going to happen in this game because... You know, instead of your arm moving straight back and straight forward, it would go to go straight back, and then you would see it, like, teleport, Yeah, you know, super far janky. back. Yeah. Yep. So I tried a little fix that I had read online. Seems to be working, right? A little cheaper than, I guess, scoring a new controller. Yeah, so, yeah, right now, knock on wood, it seemed to... I mean, it still happened a little bit. Yeah, right now, you just shoved a little cardboard the, well, I'm or, advocating what I did. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No. I. I. Yeah. I he's put, saying not to do this. This is a test he's doing himself. Yeah, no. Just don't. I mean, don't reproduce this yourself. No. No. It's just, just you right know, now. What Travis more can is I? Taking the chance. What himself. more can I do? No. I just put paper inside my. Yeah. Not cardboard. Just actual paper. Right? Yeah. Like fold it up nicely, and if I need more, I'm going to increase the the width of it so the battery doesn't move around in there. I guess. That's a little little pro tip, I guess. But that that would make sense. Piece of paper, dude. Yeah can save a seventy dollar item yeah. yeah i'm down to try it yeah you know <laughs> i mean i have to but i fixed the drifting issue mm-hmm. but i it was it was killing me that i was having that issue in this game because i would swing my arm back and i'm swinging back with momentum i don't know why i need to but i do oh you like you like that's where we got sidetracked before you get super into yeah, it with going, going forward like back. sometimes i'll you'll even see you know my Lego head guy getting all low to the ground because I'm going to treat it more like bowling on this one. And I'll be like, all right. So it was killing me that sometimes I'd swing guy. the swing forward and I, it, you know, just it's gone. Yeah. Bloop. But it can happen non controller related as well. Like I said, mm-hmm. if you just time the release of your trigger, if it's on you, yeah. Yeah. If you, if you're, you know, going to throw it in your arms, which sounds simple, but it's, you know, it, it can no, be easy you know to do. Cool? They give you default is the grip button is your release button but if you go into settings you can change it to the trigger button that's kind of something you referenced before they give you settings for pretty much everything Ah, dude for (laughs) for what it is i mean let's be honest you throw a ball team single it doesn't matter try to get your ball closest to the ball but with not like okay i've seen i've seen games with a ton of shit going on that had less settings and here's the thing so i'm happy about the settings it's so it's so addictive and like I like the graphics, you know, we'll, we'll get to our aesthetics rating because graphics, you know, aesthetics is much more than just like the high resolution. You know, the, I, I take mm-hmm. a lot of things in consideration, but it's a game with, you know, let's be real, not high resolution graphics, simple gameplay mechanics, potato man avatars, as you say, Lego man avatars. And it works like you go it works in there really well. <laughs> the gra- the fact that the graphics are like that don't bother you. The avatars make you laugh. It doesn't take away the immersion at all for me. In all of 10 seconds, my my brain just goes, well, that's just the quality of life. 
in terms of like visuals now and i'm good like i, I get you get so immersed in such a simple game it's it's remarkable yeah i think with the exception of the initial laughing we had like dude look at your avatar oh um, initial laughing you mean freaking crying yeah no it was hysterical it's like i'm if i'm playing bocce i'm not really looking at your avatar you know i mean i'm looking to see where you're throwing your ball and what i got to do next yeah i try to give some bocce tips but i'll be real like i'm not a bocce expert i didn't play years of bocce before mm-hmm. this you know but i've been playing a lot of game a lot of rounds in vr but who knows if my strategy is even good but there's been a couple rounds where you know let's say you're the winner you're you know you you did other opponents thrown all of his balls you know you're the closest one in the circle. You got one ball left to roll. So there's times instead of going oh, yeah. for that second point, I'll just look straight forward and go Beep. and throw it right over my shoulder, not even try. Because, check this, there's been some times where I've gotten greedy and I'm the winner. I won. Mm-hmm. I'm the winner. Yeah. I go to roll the ball, try to get some more points, and I knock either my winner ball or the plino, and now you're the freaking winner. Yeah, that's happened a few times. What the hell? Yep. I Sometimes wonder, I've seen you lose three points on a round because you yep. you hit the Polino and it moved to like my ball, which was closer to another ball, so I picked up two points. Yeah, but what's also cool on the other end, you know, like I mentioned about building walls, you know, there's times that you'll lose a round, so you're giving up a point, but you'll be like, all right, no way he's getting a second point unless he gets real violent with this ball because like I've built in such a such a barrier to get through, you know. Yeah, so you know, even sometimes your attempts you can be strategic with even if you know it's not going to get you the point fine mess with them yeah i'm going to also mention there is unlockables in this game if you play the ai and beat them on the difficulties you can unlock new bocce balls mm-hmm. so they do have a collection and again that kind of made me I'm not going to lie because of the similarities to walk about my brain instantly when we played the game was like all right Where's, balls where's the hit, hidden one? Where's the hidden balls in here? Because you can walk all around. You know, you can go to different. Yeah, my understanding is no, no, uh, no. There's no hidden doesn't balls. seem to be. And you I've scoped out them. everything. I mean, there's a tree house and a tree swing. You can't really mm-hmm. interact with it. But really I checked cool. it out. Really cool. There's a, there's beyond the tree house. There's a whole house there. Mm-hmm. There's like a. It's it's nice. It's like someone's got the ultimate backyard. Like they're really addicted to bocce, and they've decked out their whole backyard in nothing but bocce. And what's cool is it's not like, you know, you go into the main menu and you pick, all right, I'm going to do the regular course. I'm going to do the set, you know, the the other one. They're all in the same play area. Mm-hmm. You literally just, just walk, walking around. You, you either do, you know, your smooth or your, your no, your, your walking mm-hmm. motion or your teleport, depending on what you go in the settings and you just go to the next area. Shit, you can even throw from one course to the other course because they're right next to each other. Yeah, I did hear you mention that from somebody the other day. Yeah. Another shoes shout out, we'll yeah. say. Yeah, so I mean, there's, and I'm sure you have to crank up the, you got to uh, really crank up the, the maybe, throw but there's power. Maybe, there's times I overhand that baby and it goes pretty far. Yeah, yeah so, I do uh, know overhand in my house because of the ceiling fan. <laughs> yeah. So if you do that, you know, ceiling yeah, you, fan warning. You do the underhand lob. Yeah, but even lob. then, I've come inches to knocking my fiance's table. I heard about it last night. You're so, three inches. <laughs> This is what I heard more. You're three inches from hitting my stuff. You know that? I'm like, what? And I kind of looked under and threw my nose a little, and I was like, oh, shit. How the hell did I get over here? I caught myself moving around a lot while playing this, Mm -hmm. even though you do just the the in-game movement because you're so immersed. It's for such a simple game with such simple graphics, yeah. It's easy to lose track of time, easy to keep doing more. Uh, I can't say enough good things. This is definitely a must-watch. I put it as a must watch and if you're lucky enough to discover Apple app I just buy it sight on scene because whether it's today or down the road you're you're gonna friggin play it and you'll love it I just don't see I get why there's so many positive reviews because there's really nothing negative to say about the actual game it's like I'm assuming it's fulfilling the obligation of this is how bocce's played and they've given you a kick ass fun environment to play it in a microphone that freaking works and the ability to have more than just you know a buddy so you can actually have multiple friends come in dude that's pretty and that's the base that's where we are today after less than being a month you know release so i'm real excited for the future no i'm i'm super impressed again if, bocce it's just yeah. weird man if you would have told me all right two months no. two months ago you ready 
Bocce's going to come out. Do you think that that belongs on App Lab or the official store? I would have been like, that makes sense to be on App Lab. And right now it's on App Lab, and I get it. Well, there's Potato Man graphics, and it's a month old. I think that this is a great game to eventually see move to the, the Quest store. But, yeah, I could absolutely see this game on the official store, and there's no way I would have ever guessed that about Bocce. No, what's really cool, But too, I need to just stop being like that because I've had my mind blown so many times in VR. And I'm never hesitant to try these games. I'm just like, if I was to be speculative of, you know, what's going to be a bestseller or whatnot, you know? No, it also opens up a whole bunch of people to play it who never would have played it. Like yourself. And it also allows people who used to play it but haven't played it in a long time. To like be myself? Able, yeah, to, to freaking play it. So I just don't see. So I get the five-star rating. I, yeah. I do. And it's such. And a there's simple. no jankiness. There's I didn't have one glitch other than my own shit. So what you can't fault Damn. them on, and gonna get rated on that one. The rules are so simple that they literally there's no tutorial in the main menu or the pause menu. If you pause it, you can see it too. The rules are on the side, yeah. and it's like three Tell paragraphs. You the, whole, the whole deal. You never played this game before, and you had it down before the end of the first game mm-hmm. by like your second turn. Yeah, it made just sense. Throw the ball. Yep, you figure it out. No, mm-hmm. it's it's really weird because, and it makes sense too, being as old as it is, especially if those are pretty standard to the rules from five thousand years ago or whatever. Um, hey, here's a line. Throw your first one mm-hmm. past that, and now the game's in play. I now mean, try to be the closest one with your next four balls. I feel like I played something similar to this as a kid, but it definitely wasn't Pachi. I, I remember my gym class teacher coming into school and being like, "Here, I got some bocce balls. We're playing bocce and all because you know, little kids. You're like, what's bocce? Oh, they'd never let kids play with bocce now, right? I imagine they still Hard, play it. Big ass ball can go around like a rock. I actually <laughs> feel like because of that, they'd probably use Nerf balls. No, we had we had softer balls, yeah. but they probably still play bocce. Can't be trusted with a bocce ball. Yeah. And, like when I brought it up to my friends, it was one of those like, yeah, we all play bocce at some point. In school or or something like that. No, I'm I'm happy for the. I'm really happy it's out there. I'm really happy that we got turned on to it because organically, I don't think I would have veered it. I don't think I ever would have like been like, "Hey, dude, got to review Bocce." I I was curious definitely once I saw people talking mm-hmm. about it, but yeah, if there was no ratings, no. You just gave me a list of shit to pick from. Yeah, yeah. like I hey, don't... what's the next game we're gonna do? But I probably wouldn't have picked out Bocce. Mm-hmm. But I'll be the first one to say, man, yeah. you're going to put hours in this. I'd buy it in a heartbeat. This is, I mean, eight ninety nine. Yeah. Let's be honest. All right. You want to get into the, the final thoughts and, and review? Yeah, before I, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? It's been a, just a weird day. Hey, at least at least we went one and one. Yeah. You had your hiccup. I had my hiccup. Yeah. We're even. We'll call it like that. <laughs> Didn't happen. All right. You remembered yours, though. <laughs> Episode's not done, man. <laughs> All right. Episode's yep. not done. You get like it came to me when 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 you were talking and I had like a brain silence. Let's see. I'm gonna I'm yep. gonna make sure your math is correct and your numbers. Is <laughs> so we'll do uh you know going into our our final thoughts and our rating. You know like always we have five categories for now at least right. Uh, those five categories are gameplay, aesthetics, functionality, replayability, and value. Each with a scale of one to twenty, with the uh, the total of you know the five re- five categories being the final score. So if we really hated a game, a game might be as low as five, as high as a hundred. All right. So starting with gameplay, I'm gonna give them twenty because if we're gonna look at gameplay, what's the gameplay? Bocce. So let's look at the physics. You know, maybe the different courses, the way it feels. Nailed it. Nothing. I, we've already said it enough. You know, throughout the episode, the fact that you feel the ball if it's right before, like as it's leaving your hand, says says enough. You know, the, almost every throw we mess up, we're saying if it's too hard or too light, as it's still rolling. And, you know, for uh, you could do it if you're playing with the AI, but it's really cool to do it with, with your friends if you're in a, you know, a room together. Uh, when you roll it, you have two views. If you press on the Oculus, it's the A button on your right controller. It'll automatically teleport you from the rolling spot down to the end where the Polino is. So you can even just watch your, your buddy roll his ball, and it's it sounds simple, but it's a lot cooler watching it come from that other angle. Uh, you get a much better visual on it. 
So, I mean, dude, they, they gave you everything everything and more. I mean, something else we didn't mention, it's cross-platform for the other, game, other, con, other you know, headsets it's on because it uses the, the room code system. So to join a room, you just, who's ever creating the room, they type in whatever they want. You know, example, we could do rough talk, rough, rough talk VR as our code. You know, and then whoever else is going to join just types in the same. So it's real simple, you know, to get all that. I got nothing bad to say in that regard. So 20 on gameplay. Aesthetics, 15. Uh, this one might be a little controversial. I could see somebody going 10 because Potato Man Avatar. And, like, it's a little lower, you know, it's a, it's just not high-res, you know, super, super high-quality graphics. But when I rate the aesthetics category, I, it's not just about that. You know, there I take into consideration the, the overall feel of it, you know. Sometimes things are intentionally a certain style of graphics, but they could still be a 20 in, in aesthetics just because it's not photorealism, you know. And for what they're going for, I don't think that they've hit it perfect yet, like Walkabout. Walkabout, I'd give a 20 on aesthetics at this point. You know, they, they have such a great environment, such a great aesthetic feel. They're almost there. But since that's the category, that's the the route they're going. That's how I'm gonna gonna score their graphics. And man, 15 out of 20. I go and I'm happy. I'm having fun. Even though it's simple avatars, I love the Potato Man avatar. I I, I really do. So yeah, I'll give them a 15. But I can understand if somebody's like, hey man, 10. I'm not gonna die on that hill. I'm not gonna fight you about it. But for me, it's a 15. Functionality. Uh, I'm actually gonna give them a 20 because what I I haven't had any glitch. The only issue I've had in this has been my own mistake of, you know, releasing the trigger too far with my arm back. Can't fault them on them. That's actually, if if I released it with my arm back and it still shot forward and like with mega power, I would actually nail them on the functionality. So the game works perfect in that regard. Replayability, I'm going to say 15. Uh, if you asked me to guess my scores before we rated, I would have probably assumed that would be maybe a five or a ten. I can't believe how how replayable it is. You know, even as now, you know, even as is, you'll go, you'll put in an hour easy with a friend. I just want to leave though that room of five points because uh, you know, when more courses come, there's a lot more. You know, I want to be able to reflect that in maybe a second review in in the future. You know, maybe they got in the official store or whatever. So there's still room to go, but even as is. Holy moly, the game is replayable. And then value, I'm going to give them a 20. You know, I mean, nine bucks, dude. I, I would have even paid, you know, like you said, nine ninety nine. I'm happy. But 20 for value. So 20, 15, 20, 15, 20. I'm going to go 90. And, dude, for a game that just came out less than a month ago on App Lab, Bocce is getting a 90. Damn. I don't I don't understand anything <clears throat> anymore. It's a damn good game. It's also a damn good score. Um, I can't disagree with anything you said, honestly. Gameplay, I went into it open-minded, not a bocce aficionado by any extent. Actually had to read the how-to-play bocce that's on the screen in the start menu. Um, but loved it. I give them a solid 20. I really do. Um, aesthetics, I don't know if I'd go as low as 10. I mean... <laughs> It's not photorealism. Don't think they're trying for it. I think they're on the cusp of like possibly moving up that existing standard of, of graphics we see. But I give them a 15. Um, I'm not going to die in any hill like you said. But I don't think it's a 10. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I think the setting fits the vibe of the game. So it doesn't, it's not like one thing looks so solid that everything else looks like shit or vice versa. I've seen that where some games will have like a couple of items in it that just look fantastic. Um, functionality, only glitch I had was me that I know of, <laughs> you know, and we've done some pretty weird things, throwing the balls around and stuff. And I'm actually pretty impressed where some of them will go, but I give them a 20. Replayability, we're going to differ a little on this. I, I love the fact that you're not strapped into a 15-point game or a 10-point game. If you just want to... It sounds dumb, but maybe it's because I'm new to the game. But, like, it's real simple to play. You just load it in. I can pick Body McBot face if I want. Hopefully he shows up. And then 
you know, we freaking play a quick match, but you can literally set it to such minimal points. It's like you could whip out, so 11 points, 10 minutes of life. So I got to give him a 20 on that. Um, I'm probably going to play it for a long time. I don't even care. This, this is where it's weird. I don't care about the mini golf shit that they got going on, like all those courses and other fun stuff. I'm just, I'm loving just, like I said, I love the traditional bocce thing and the the backyard setting one. Like you're at a friend's house having a barbecue where I'm over here having smoked meat. We're playing, we're playing some bocce. So for me, it's a 20. I can see your point though. And value for money, eight ninety nine. really? Come on. And everything works. And the in-game mic, which is crucial for any social type fun with your friend. I mean, you could party chat, but it's always nice when those apps work. Um, shit, man, they get a clean 95 for me. I don't see any. I really, I'm like, I'm almost like I'd love to give them 100, but I just can't because then I'd be. 95 out of 100 for bocce that came out for bocce. under a month yeah, ago. Yeah, dude, I was really. So base, too. It's so base right now. It's so bare bones. I freaking love it, though. And it's so freaking good. Yeah. Do you get what I mean about, like. You couldn't write down what the formula is, but some games in VR just have that that feel. Yeah, this, you this you has go it. into it and you just know right away it's going to be a hit. And yeah, you, I can't. It's not always the same genre. And when, I, when you see something feel. with perfect stars, it's like you're almost trolling, looking for a reason for it not to be. But I get it. And um, and I mean, you know, full disclosure, I dropped a review um, this morning, and I gave it five stars. For what it is, it is absolutely freaking great. It'll hold its own. And who else is doing see, bocce? I can't wait to see where it goes, too. Ah, uh, dude. And I, I, mean, I mean, to justify your... I mean, I gave 15 on replayability, but to justify your 20, mm-hmm. they give you the the balls to unlock, too. Mm-hmm. That's just for self-replayability. That's not even counting, like... Well, the bots and... Friends are, across the world or across the country, and you're like, you want to just play for 10 minutes because of time and life and all that shit. And it's like, you can get together four people and in under 15 minutes probably played a couple games. That's that's freaking huge. Yeah, this is on track to be a highlight of the App Lab store. Absolutely. But it's also got me now going, hmm. And I can see I, why it's on App Lab right now. I would love a whole backyard themed type VR experience where all these type of games and stuff. you got bocce, you got the, the dangerous ass game that used to play when I was a kid, like the lawn darts there, um, cornhole crochet or not crochet cricket or whatever mm-hmm. it's called. It's the one with the metal rings and you got to, it's not crochet. Crocheting is a thing. Yeah. I don't know the exact name. I can't remember it, but, but I know then, I've you played know, that. You corn- get like the, the oversized wooden mallet to mm-hmm. wrap balls around. I know what you're talking about. It's just one of those backyard games. It, yeah. You could probably buy them in a set of 30 games from Walmart or something like that. I remember like that. thinking that when I was playing the bocce. I'm like, wow, this would be really cool to be able to play different, be able to jump to different backyard type games. Yeah. Remarkable that it, that it works so well, but it, it does. I, I can't put my finger on it, but I this one gets my stamp no, of approval. Like you said, I don't know what the formula for magic in VR is. I'm always throwing curveballs with what what it is. What I like in the real world and what I like on computer and what I like on and I should have seen it coming cuz to be honest with you, what I like on my gaming computer is different than what I really like to play on my Xbox. Yeah. And what I like 20. in VR is seems to be like Everything in the world I'd never thought I'd enjoy seems to get me the most. I would never play a bocce game on my console. Never. No. Not with this amount of enjoyment and no. like this amount of time. No, it'd be pretty lame, dude. No, but in VR, it's the shit. Yeah. It's awesome. No, they could definitely do leagues, tournaments. Yeah, tournament play. And like I said, they're they're trying to put up tournaments and stuff on their Discord, so go join that. I'll yeah, definitely join their Discord. Yep, and again, it's bocce time. That's, you know, B-O-C-C-E space T-I-M-E exclamation point telling you exactly how to spell it perfect. So when you Google it or type it into the Oculus search bar, you'll find it it because you're not going to find it searching on like great browsing on the store. Great family game, too. If you got relatives, you know, around the States and stuff. Yeah, let's be real. We we try not to milk it, but, you know, father son combo here. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to play. Oh, yeah. Playing with family. It's it's a blast. And it's not like we don't bust chops. 
<laughs> oh my god. Probably hey, worse than like we, we would get be. competitive. Like I said, God forbid on the first roll after rolling the Plino, like somebody's first ball, it's it's like a snipe and it's real close and that radius is small. Mm-hmm. Those are the most like <laughs> asshole games around. Well, you have out of to us. be. Because like once it starts, uh, what, like, what are you gonna? What else you got to do? You got three balls left, I know, and you've already got radius that small. I got four balls. I'm going in here with bad intentions. Yep. You know, there's a, it, you left me no choice. Yeah, you just gotta knock the shit up. But like you said, just because you hit it doesn't always mean it's gonna work in your favor. So yeah, especially once there's a lot of balls on the play. Oh my god, there's so many factors and elements, and they did such a good job with mm-hmm. the physics. You know, I mean, we're almost a an must, hour. Uh, so I'll put it as a must own and definitely a must watch because I, I, I can just feel there's going to be a lot of fun coming. Yeah. I mean, even with the other courses, it's like you can see that they're going the route of really milking the physics because there was times that I was utilizing bouncing, mm-hmm. like bouncing off of different objects. There was one I got that you were like, no fucking way. <laughs> yeah. It was on the sectional one. Like I hit it I because there's this like little uh, what what is it? Is it like a trash can? There's some sort of like little object right in the middle of it, but I I hit it and it bounced, and then it went r- literally touching the plano. Yep. Hit it, and you were like, "How? <laughs> oh yeah, because I can't duplicate that." And then I think I that was one of the rounds I swept you, and then that's part of the reason I had a nine or you know nine to two lead. Yeah, and then this guy using comes this lob approach, and then this guy figures out the course all of a sudden. With two points left to win. <laughs> and I had thought we switched the score to seven, so I thought I had won, and then I didn't win yet. I'm like, damn it. And then you figure out the course with the nick of time left. I think the final score was 11 to 10. Yeah, I um, I kept putting it. Yeah, <sighs> I, I put it to the left area. And the yeah, first time found, I did, you, you I saw you struggle. Yeah, <sighs> I found your, your kryptonite to your lobbing technique. Yeah, when we play games against each other, we have no <laughs> problem exploding weakness. You oh, did that no. to me in blasting a lot too. You found one spot mm-hmm. that you kept you kept getting me in my 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 far left corner, like towards the bottom. Yeah, watch. And how I you, think the next you behave. Six, I think like the next six times I just died like that, and I was like, "You got no problem. You'll do this till Dude, the cows come." I got to get my winning in when I can. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, well, like, there's no rhyme or reason for games. When, mm-hmm. who, who wins what either? Because I would have thought, you know, I played a little bit of granted years ago. You know, I, I should have had the experience advantage. Do you know what's cool? And then I beat you in pool. Like, what's going on? It doesn't make sense. Yeah. That one really creeps me out. So there's no... Because ev- in real ev- life, I'm pretty confident on a pool table. Every game's different about who, which one of us is going to be the king, but it's like, it's... <laughs> it. There's always a dominant one. It doesn't, doesn't always work out as, <laughs> as planned, I guess. Whereas on paper, you would think it would. Yeah. Oh, VR is the shit. It's, yeah. a, it's a game changer to everything that... We you say never it, think you'd know. We say it every week. Throw your preconceived notions of what you're going to enjoy. This one proved enjoy. it for me. Yeah. Bocce. I've but you know what's cool? I mean, because there's a lot of people who do these like VR nights out and shit where people get together and play games. But now it's like, so you start off the, the night with a round of mini golf, jump over to bocce, play a couple rounds of bocce, and then hit the the golf plus and just hit some drives and listen to tunes. Shit, maybe even paint some... um. Some, Some figures in yeah. Demio. In Demio. Yeah, no. Uh, wow. Yeah, VRs. We're getting. Yeah, it's getting easier to. The store is so much better today than when we we bought our headset. I you think know, the store continually yeah. improves. That goes back to our interview with with Chris last week. I was even talking to a, a friend who I finally sounds like I've got him, you know, sold on getting a headset. Buying the headset. And I was thinking about <laughs> it, and it's like, dude, what what you're gonna get into the like your first experience on the store. Mm-hmm. Is so much wider selection here and like so much better than when I did it. And I still fell in love with it. Like, yeah, people buying their headset today, there's a lot of choice. Yeah, you can come out of the gate right now and just stay away from it, that. It, I'm, honestly, I must be overwhelmed. I wasn't upset when we got our headset that there wasn't like thousands of games on the store right now. Yeah. But you look at it right now and from, it's, from it's, what it was over a year, year and a half ago, whatever. It's, it's a like, very confident store. Uh huh. And I don't hate Epic Roller Coaster or anything like that. I'll just say it's a dangerous first couple months app. Like the fact that it's free for a first experience. I mean, I did it. It's and, and I yeah. won't lie. And it made you. That was like your one. Uh, one I was experience like, I wish I hadn't sickness. done that. And I, I think it was just. And it wasn't the fact. <laughs> this is what's so stupid. I did it and kind of felt like I shouldn't have done that. And then I did it again. <laughs> Kept doing it with a different track. And then I was like, oh, I'll try this one. And I did it again. 
and I'm looking all around because it's the first time I'm really in VR like this. Yeah, that's the thing. It's a good app. I'm not talking shit. Instead of just dangerous. Instead of just looking straight ahead and enjoying the roller coaster. No, I'm like on the roller coaster, looping all around, doing crazy shit, but looking at everything I possibly can as it's going by. So I didn't help my situation. And in their defense, they do give you something that you can put up for motion sickness, but I didn't want that. I wanted to give me the... Give me the full blast of every because I was yeah. warned against it. So this isn't like a person. This isn't like me throwing shade at them. It's just that it's mm-hmm. a dangerous free app, you know. But nonetheless, <laughs> no, it's man. all good. Bocce I still time. have it. It's bocce time. Grab an espresso and play some bocce. You're in business. Yeah, good shit. Yeah. No, man. I'm, I'm 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 happy we got turned on to it. And I hope we have another one of these episodes, you know, pumping out in like six months or something like that. And these guys have some major updates coming or something like that. Hell, I'd love to have the the developer on for an interview. I feel like he'd be a great guest. I think so. Seems like a creative dude. So nonetheless, uh, you want to wrap this baby up? Yeah, I I don't think there's much more. to. Honestly, there's probably a lot less we could have said about (laughs) Baji, but we didn't. So now you know everything about Baji. Hey, that problem is why we started a podcast anyway. So like I always say, if you've you've been enjoying the episode, subscribe, rate us five stars. Go check out that official subreddit, that official Discord. Go check out Baji's Discord too. And, you know, definitely subscribe because that's how you get our newest episodes ASAP. So other than that, enjoy your guys' weekend. Take care. Enjoy.